Hi friends, in the last video I showed how to use the if conditions in the SQL select statement. So in this tutorial, uh, I will try to explain it more with a with an example, uh, with a kind of a requirement. So let me take the same uh, table that we have used in the previous video, right? So I have a requirement, right? Where I have first name, last name the date of creation and then the gender. So now I have a requirement where I want to get the count of employees followed by count of employees followed by number of male employee and uh, count of uh, male employee count of female employees. Right. So this is my requirement. So I need an output with three columns and then count of female employees. Right, so this is basically it's more of a uh, right uh, three columns with these values, and uh, let me do order by agenda for us to better understand. Right, so how many female employees I have? I have eight female employees. So count of female employees, I want to display eight value eight for count of female employees, and then. Uh, male employees is 4 okay and total employees is 12 right so this is what some th th I want an output something like this count of employees count of male employees count of female employees three columns I want the output in three columns so it's easier right for me to get the first column it's very easy what I will simply do is I'll say select count star and then I can say total employees right count star total employees and then I say select count star from EMP underscore test table right I got the total employees so why we have uh, 15 employees we have in the EMP test table so let me yep so you have 15 employees and uh, number of uh, Male employees is basically five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So let me. We are not sure. I haven't updated the data. The employee gender details for two employees, so they won't get into this count. So even though we get 15 records, we won't be able to see the details for the other two guys because we are not sure. So this is what I have. Total employees 15. Now I want the count of male employees and count of female employees. So basically, right, uh, how we did the count, right, uh, we have to use the combination of, right, uh, uh, sum and uh, decode here to get the, we can use the combination of sum and decode or case statement here to get the count of male and count of female employees. If I do something like this, right, most of the times when I ask uh, the students to uh, write in the interview, they basically do something like this group by gender. They will say, sir, I will do it like this. Uh, select gender, comma. So they will say two employees, we don't know, five, eight. But the same information I want to present something like this over here. Right, so it's column wise. What you get using group by is using row wise, you're getting it row wise. But my requirement is I want it the output in three columns. So, first column we have got total employees, we got it straight away. The other two columns, how do we get it right? Count of male employees and count of female employees. So, we will go step by step. First, what I will do is I will uh, try to use decode. I'll say select decode, okay, gender. If the value is M, right, I want to show it as 1, right, else I want to display 0 and then say, let me do this also, gender from EMP underscore test. So now what you have is only for males, you have value 1, for all others, for female and null values, it's 0. I hope you got it right. For female and others, for female and null values, we got zero. Only for male, we got one. And now what I can do is, right, it's very simple. Now what I will do is, I will just change this and I will say, 
select sum of these ones, these values I just want to sum it, right? So 1 plus 0 is 1. So we get count of mail as 5. You apply the same logic here, right? I will say count of mail employees, right? So now what you got is count of, uh, okay, here you go. Right now you got a count of mail employees. You copy, let me copy and paste this again, right? Okay, let me do this using the next one. Let me do it using the case statement. So what I'll do is select case when gen, case gender. Okay, then I can say when female, then one, else zero, end. Okay. I'm just giving an alias, right, from EMP underscore test. So you will see zero, zero, and let me do gender also, right, so that we can understand it clearly. You see, only for female, you get one, one, one. Then on top of this, basically, what we have to do is we have to do use the sum. Let me do the sum here, right. And why I'm removing gender from the output is basically, if I run it with gender, right, what you will see is not a group by function. Not a single group group function because we have to use explicitly use group by. That's a uh, video for another uh, section. So now I use sum as for female. So I can say count of male. Similar to count of male, I can say count of female employees. Right, so now we got count of female employees as well. So now it's very easy. What I will do is select count star, right, for total employees, comma, and then let me copy and paste it for count of male employees. This sum of D code, I'm pasting it here. And another case, how to do it using case gender, I have shown. So now if I run it, you get the output. Total employees 15, count of male employees is 5. I haven't given an alias here. So if you see here, right, because of the space that's being available, we are giving the space in the column alias, and we specify it in quotes. Without space using underscore, there is no need for quotes. So I can simply say, right, uh, let me use the same logic, right, one we have done above, count of female employees, right? Let's have this LS. Yeah, so now you have total employees count followed by count of male employees and followed by count of female employees, 15, 5, 8. So we get the same output. Uh, sometimes the example that I showed, most of the candidates in an interview will answer something like this. Sir, we can write like this. But uh, our requirement is where we want it across columns. We want the count across the columns. So this example, right, we can stretch it anywhere for any values. Say, for example, based on the application status, total applicants, number of applicants verified, total applications, number of applicants verified, uh, and uh, right, uh, uh, processed and things like that. If you want different counts, we generally use the combination. We can use the combination of sum and decode or case statements and the substitutions we can do like this and get the required output. I hope you guys uh, got an hang of where all this requirement will come in your actual day-to-day -day work. Thank you.